Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Now, I want to talk to you about something which really, really affected me on a personal level. I can relate to a personal level on this because um, it really cut me quite deep witnessing it. And I've experienced it many, many times in my life, unfortunately. It is about having a disability, a hearing loss, so I have a hearing loss. But this time it didn't happen to me. I witnessed it with somebody else who had a hearing problem. So I was out this afternoon doing some Christmas shopping by myself. I grabbed myself a festive drink. I was walking around, buying what I wanted, taking off things off my Christmas list. Um, for others, of course, not myself. And I happened to go into this store, a very large store. And I was looking at a few things and I happened to pick some things up for myself I wanted. I was actually queuing up ready to pay for the goods which I had. Um, and this chap must have no, no more must have been 16, looked incredibly, incredibly young behind the counters. Uh, and of course, serving, serving customers on, on the tills. And um, there was, there happened to be two youngish women. Um, I'm not being judgmental, but quite sort of, you could, you could see that they, there's good in us all, but I don't think these particular people were ready to showcase the good, let's put it that way. Um, and it was just, they were, they were very rude with him. You could see it. It was quite a cue and we were looking and they were quite rude. And he had a hearing condition. He, he obviously had something wrong with his ears and he had uh, hearing aids in. I thought he had two hearing aids in, but his ears, was, they were sort of forward. So I'm not sure what he had. He had his sort of ears quite folded forward and um, he had one hearing aid in and he was trying to ask them a question and they were being rude. They were, were laughing, being quite snide, not particularly very nice at all. And then, to my horror, they started making remarks about his hearing and everybody could see and that he hadn't heard. And the other girl who'd already paid for her goods started laughing at something which was said and she went off. And then they didn't acknowledge the young lad behind the counter and they were incredibly rude. They knew he couldn't hear and they were taking the mickey basically. And they were being vile. They were being vile human beings and there is goodness all. And unfortunately in that very moment, they let themselves down. They let themselves down and they were disgusting to be quite honest. They were very, very vile and not nice people at all. And you could just clearly see the young lad literally just you could just see he had tears in his eyes it wasn't very nice at all it was a horrible horrible experience and if i had been his manager he should have been pulled off to the side or he should have left because i've been in that situation i know exactly what that's like and i've actually left my work environment and i've taken a moment and i think when that happens you need to not and that's not to say that that has got the better of you but you need that composure you need that time to breathe and move forward because unfortunately when you have a hearing problem no matter how hard you make out you are it is isolating. When you cannot hear 100%, it is isolating. Now, actually, credit to him, he carried on. Very, very polite chap, very, very nice person, really, really good at what he was doing. He was great. I was served by him, and I was paying for the goods which I had from the store. And I had some bags on the floor, because I was getting my wallet for my coat. It's been very, very warm. It's been very, very cold today. So I had a lot of layers on, a scarf and everything. And I was finding my wallet. So I put the bags I had already from other stores on the floor. And as I leant forward, he could see that I had hearing aids in. And I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to approach the subject from what I just witnessed. Um, I was going to, I was just going to see how it sort of developed. Because, of course, having hearing problems myself, wearing hearing problems, having a lot of experiences with people being very rude, very nasty, unfortunately, in the general public. I used to work in retail banking, you can well imagine. Um, and then he said, you you wear hearing aids. Because I was doing this to hear through the, the prospect screen, of course, through the COVID and everything now. Um, we're past that, but of course, a lot of stores have still got all that up. Um, so very often, I, I sort of lean to one side to hear because this is my good side. This is my deaf side. The hearing aids I have in come from my good ear and they put that, um, which is called like a... Uh, a signal hearing aid, it comes over to my deaf side. I don't actually have any hearing this side. So I always lean to this side. And he happened to say to me, you have hearing aids in? And I said, yes, I do. And I thought, and then I thought I'm going to say, and I actually said to him, I don't know where it came from. I said, yes, I do have hearing problems. And I said, and what I just witnessed with you was wrong. I said, I used to work in retail banking. I said, I've gone through exactly what you have just gone through there. I said, but do not do not dwell on it because the problem is with them, not you. You are an individual, you are a valid individual and you're doing really, really well. And he thanked me and 
you know what? I didn't even need thanks or anything. I just thought, you know what? Here's a good person doing what they're doing right now. They're not being nasty. There's nothing in this world that that person was doing wrong. But yet two individuals thought that it was okay for them to act the way they did. And worst of all, to pick something out which somebody has no control over as having a disability. And it absolutely broke my heart. The young lad said that he couldn't find one of his hearing aids this morning. So it was even in a worse situation because his hearing was worse because he only had one in. How awful, but amazing at the same time for him to be able to find that strength, to be able to carry on, to be resilient enough, to be able to face that, deal with it, still stand there and carry on. The other people, they're not, that, that is not worth it. I'm sure they're good people, and I'm sure it was just a moment where they forgot themselves. I really hope that's the case, because I find it sickening that my nieces and nephew and my future children, fingers crossed, will grow up in a world where people think that that is acceptable to treat other people like that. I have been in a situation similar, which brought it all back to me a couple of years ago in my retail banking role. And I, um, I was... Uh, a few different roles in the bank, but my main favourite role was meet and greet of a very busy, uh, busy banking hall, very, very large, very, very modern, traditional building, but uh, white glass floor. Um, beautiful building, loved my role, but lots of sound bouncing. And I remember covering um, a position in the banking hall, there was a queue, and I was meeting great, and, and I used to run run the show, you could say, with one of my other colleagues. Um, we used to it used to just run like clockwork, I froze my own self there. Um, and I remember this one time where this customer um, clocked that I had hearing problems. And all of a sudden he started saying to me, so deaf then, so deaf then, so deaf then, so deaf then, so deaf then. And I kid you not, he kept going and kept going and kept going. And I got a mixture of so angry, I did not know what to say, I felt humiliated. And I just broke. And I was welling up. And my colleague who was next to me asked if I was okay. They asked him to leave. I just froze. And I just said, I just need some time. I need a moment. And I went off into the staff room and composed myself. How vile. How vile that somebody could do that, thinking that that was a joke. So I knew what that young lad was going through today. And that's why I really am pleased that I got the opportunity to say that. There is good in all of us. And as I say, we have just got to find it sometimes in some people. Sometimes I know we all have moments where we may have a bit of stress going on, we may have something else in the background, but there is no excuse ever to treat or speak to somebody like that. I always say in this life that you should always treat somebody how you would want to be treated, and I always treat people as if I would want my family or my friends to be treated. And you know what, if you can call somebody out on how they're acting or how they're speaking, of course sometimes it's not always safe to, but if you can, go ahead, because nine times out of ten people will back you and people will support you, because that is not right. People to think that that is acceptable to do, that is not right on any level, way, shape or form, on God's earth at all. Horrific. Would not want to wish that on absolutely anybody. Wouldn't want anybody to go through that. I don't hate anybody in this life at all. And I'm sure there was a reason. I'd hope that sometimes, sadly, in this world, there isn't a reason for things like that to happen. And that's the sickening thing about it as well. So, yeah. So... Why so nasty? Why are people so nasty as that? And I know there are many, many reasons in this world, and it's very, very sad. But I wanted to share that with you, because how horrific for somebody to go through that. But how courageous and how brilliant for that chap to be able to push forward, to stand there and keep going as well with that. And you know, he was a really, really nice person as well. Very, very good at what he'd done. Sad. I hope that kind of teaches us a lesson sort of in life when we see these things, that actually it makes us value the small things, and it makes us value the connections we have in our life, and that actually there is always that person who's going through something else. So, do you know what I mean? Sometimes let yourself breathe, let yourself feel what you're feeling. And actually sometimes I always find that when we need help, helping others or, or, or assisting somebody else can often help us as well. So on that note, thank you very much for listening to that. Thank you very much for being here. And it's, even though that's really, really sad, let's just concentrate on that fact that what a courageous young person that was to be able to hold their thought, to be able to carry on. And you know what to think? Do you know what? I'm just going to still carry on here and I'm going to, I'm going to carry on. I've got my problem. I've got my disability, but it's me. I'm an individual and I'm valid. And you know what? Don't let anybody make you feel that way at all in this life. Thanks very much. Until next time, I will be seeing you soon. Take great care. God bless. Bye for now.